Now, it's one of the most enduring images of World War II. Hundreds of young evacuees lining up at railway stations, preparing for a journey into the unknown. Well, there's been little research done on the impact of evacuation on children who are caught up in the war, but a conference at Reading University this week is hoping to change that, as Sangeeta Barbara explains. There'll be remembers them as the evacuees, the hundreds of thousands of little boys and girls who were sent to the countryside to escape the bombs of World War II. Most were barely able to understand the concept of war, yet one day they found themselves with a luggage tag around their neck on a train heading away from everything and everyone they knew. Brothers John and James Roffey ended up with a family in West Sussex. Memories of it are very mixed. Uh, parts of it were wonderful, parts of it were not. Homesickness was the big problem, I and mean, it was for all evacuees, because, uh, to be remembered, we didn't know when we were going home, and uh, there was always this waiting and so on. And the evacuee will always say that they were the last to be selected, but somehow or other, in our case, because our sister was with us, um, who would want to take three children? And so, as far as we were concerned, we were the last to be taken. Were you split up? Yes, indeed, we were. Little research has been done on the experiences of children in war, but the conference at the University of Reading plans to shed new light on the area. It was a case of, in March 1946, the word evacuation virtually came out of the, you know, the dictionary, uh, because it, the, the government scheme can, finished and that was it so there was no follow-up work you know there was no counseling as one would expect today with with children in some war zones um they've largely been ignored because other factors of war have taken over both at the time and, and both post-war the conference will also bring together former evacuees from across the world regardless of what side of the conflict they were on their suffering is the same children grown up without being asked um, how they feel and how they have been in this time. Nobody gave you a cover or something like that, or if you've had a bad day at the school or been bullied a bit or something like that when you come home, there was nobody that flung their arms around you and, and gave you a cuddle. I, I think that, and so therefore that has had an effect in my life that I find it difficult to get close to people at times and uh, might even appear a little bit standoffish but I do put that down to evacuation. It's hoped the personal accounts and diaries will help people understand the effects of war on children but as recent world conflicts show there's still little to prevent a new generation of victims. Sankita Barbara in Reading for Meridian tonight. I can't imagine how traumatic it would be for those of us who didn't live yeah. through it there's plenty of do, yeah, but, but at least uh, you know conferences like that are beginning to bring the issues and uh, enabling people like that to talk about them mm. probably for, for the first time. Mm. Well, there's still plenty more to come in tonight's programme. Do have a pen and paper handy if you want the chance to win a top of the range.